Now back to the big story of the night. It was a busy night, but the severe storms are still heading out. Thankfully, John Elliott is here now with the kind of the cleanup situation. Yeah, flooding. I mean, flooding. I mean, you know, you hear the word tornado. Everybody focus on that because that's very scary. But it's the uh, flooding, and uh, you take a look at these are radar indicated totals, and these are running totals because we're not done yet. Parts of the area close to five inches of rain, and that rain falling in in some cases less than two hours. So anywhere from one to two in an hour or so, major flooding was an issue through parts of Essex County, and then all along this line, it was flooding and wind damage as well. So we had reports earlier of flooding through parts of Fairfield County into parts of northern New Jersey and all along that line. I tell you, a possible tornado in Pennsylvania, that prompted multiple warnings, but up through parts of West Essex, we had Clifton uh, flash flooding uh, on three. I tell you, parts of three and parts of 80 where it always flood, the problem is drainage. Too much water. We had multiple trees down. There was a report of a tree down in uh, Verona and then also in Rutherford. We had uh, power lines impacted as well. Still have these warnings for parts of Monmouth and Ocean County, in fact, for the next few minutes. But Maurice is right. The storms are starting to wrap up and push out. But again, you're going to see these other little impulses through parts of LBI. Not only the lightning show, but the heavy rain, a little bit of hail, the gusty winds, but it's the torrential rain. You follow this to the north, and you're seeing this next little impulse leave Middlesex County into parts of Monmouth County. And then even though much of the area is getting a break right now, there's this one little impulse here that's just going to add insult to injury for parts of the Hudson Valley. Sullivan Ulster down into Orange and Rockland where we had some very heavy rain. You could tap into that. However, obviously with the absence of the heat of the day and the instability of the day, things will continue to improve. And then the big view, this wonderful refreshing air is going to paint a very nice picture for your Friday and Saturday. So tomorrow, 82, sunshine returns, breezy, bright, less humid. It's a real treat. And dew points are going to drop delightfully so into the 50s. So it's going to feel very pleasant. In fact, some of the model guidance, this would be for Saturday morning. We, we could see temperatures in the 40s. Multiple areas will see temperatures in the 50s. This is your wake up weather on Saturday. We'll feel very crisp and very refreshing in stark contrast to what we're cleaning up with, what we're dealing with as we clean up right now. Over the next few days, again, Friday is great. Saturday, just a real treat. Feels good, looks good. Sunday, we're back to summer. It's a little bit more humid. Could see a shower in the afternoon. So, storms are wrapping up. The flooding, I'm getting all these pictures and we'll have, I'm sure we'll have more pictures uh, later and then tomorrow on the show, but it's really been the big problem with this storm is all the rain and the rainfall rates that were so high during the height of the storm. It'll be here for a while too. Yeah. Thank you, John.